Tis the season for big weather swings. An invisible river of air located far above us where jet airplanes fly is the culprit. The eastern two-thirds of the country has rainy weather and temperatures 10 to 15 degrees below average, while the western one-third of the U.S. continues to deal with a drought and hot temperatures and deadly fires. Notice how there's a stark line here dividing the conditions. That divide is the jet stream, or strong currents of air created when warm and cold air masses meet. It's located about 5 to 9 miles up in the air. That puts it at flight level, about 35,000 feet. The Earth has four jet streams, one at the North Pole, one at the South Pole, and then two in the middle near the equator. Due to the Earth's spin, the jet streams form then move from west to east, each one traveling on average at more than 100 miles per hour. During the winter months, the polar jet streams can get up to 250 miles per hour. That wind energy can help produce monster storms. Like a winding river, they never travel on a perfectly straight line. Oftentimes, one will dive a little farther south, forcing you to bring out the parka and snow shovel in the winter, or bump north during the summer, causing you to turn the AC on ultra high. It also helps meteorologists like myself predict where a weather system will go, since jet streams help steer where a storm will head. Imagine throwing a beach ball in a river and seeing where it ends up. It's the same concept with storm systems and the jet stream. And since it is located at 35,000 feet, it could help you get to your destination a little faster when you're flying. 